Hello and welcome to MacLearn 360. In this video, I want to solve a problem with you to illustrate the concept of a pause and then a moment in space. In other words, finding the moment of a force in space. All right, so let's read the problem together and solve it. So the turn buckle is tightened until the tension in cable AB is 1.2 kilo newtons. Our task is to calculate the magnitude of the moment about point O of the force which is acting on point A. Can we do this together? All right. So let's start by saying that the moment is actually a cross product of the position vector and the force vector. In other words, to find the moment about point O here, what we are going to do is that we are going to describe a certain position vector from O to where the force is acting. And in this case, since we are dealing with the tension force, the tension force will always act away from the body. Therefore, we are going to um, move from O to where we call the tail of the force. So the tail of the force. And this is where the force is. In other words, the point of application of the force on the body. And that is why we are taking point. We are taking point A. All right. So we are going to walk all the way from O to A, and then we will get a position vector. But we cannot just walk like that. We have to first of all assign a convention. And what is the convention? The convention is such that positive along the X, positive along the Y, positive along the Z. So what this means is that if you see me walking in this direction, it is positive. If you see me walking in this direction, that is also positive. And if you see me walking in this direction, it is also positive. If I walk against this direction shown, it is negative. Is that right? Similarly, the unit vector along the x is i, along the y is j, and along the z is k. Is that right? So at this juncture, what am I going to do? I am going to actually walk from O to A. And that is pretty much simple. I would have to walk in this direction to this point, And then I will walk from here to here. Walking in this direction is along the positive K. And so it's going to be 2K, isn't it? So 2 meters along the K. And then from here to here is 1.6. And it's along the positive X direction. So we are going to say 1.6I. Therefore, the position vector is going to be 1.6i plus 2k in meters. So that one, we are done. But you know what? We have, to also, we have to also express the tension force in this cable. Let's call it the tension TAB. We have to express this tension TAB as a force in space. But we know that the magnitude of the tension in AB is 1.2 kilonewtons. So we only need to get the, um, okay, so this is, how we are, this is what we are saying. If I want to express the tension TAB in space, I'll multiply TAB by a unit vector in the direction of AB because the tension AB is acting along the line joining points A and B. So what is a unit vector anyway? The unit vector is actually the vector divided by the vector AB divided by the magnitude of vector AB, all right? So the unit vector is the vector AB divided by the magnitude of the vector AB. So at this point, I want us to walk from A to B and then describe a certain, a certain position vector. So if I ask you to walk from A here to B, how are you going to do that? All right, so you will first of all climb down like this, and then you would walk in this direction to here, and finally you will come this way, isn't it? Now coming down is two, but this time around you are going to come down, and so it is going to be against the positive direction, so it's going to be minus two k. And then when you are here and you want to come to this point, you are going to walk 1.5, but that is on the positive y, and so it's going to be plus 1.5j. Is that right? And then finally, from O 
um, so sorry, from this point to B is 0 0.8, which is along the positive x. So that is going to be what? 0 0.8i. And all of this is actually in meters. So if I try to rearrange RAB, then vector RAB will be 0 0.8i plus 1.5j minus 2k. And all of this is in meters. Therefore, I can express vector TAB, which is the tension in AB, as the magnitude, which is 1.2, multiplied by the unit vector, which is now going to be um, 0.8i plus 1.5j minus 2k. Then I will divide the whole of this by the square root of 0 0.8 squared plus 1.5 squared plus minus 2 squared. And that gives me the force TAB as a vector. Is that right? At this point, what am I going to do? Let's pick our calculators and do this together. So 1.2, and then I'm going to multiply this 1.2 by a fraction. Is that right? And that fraction, is 0 0.8 and i will divide it by the magnitude okay which is what 0 0.8 squared plus 1.5 squared plus minus 2 squared okay now i'm going to do 0 0.366 it means that the component here is going to be 0 0.366i. Then I will change the 0 0.8 and then I will make it 1.5. That will give me the J component. And that is what? 0 0.686. So plus 0 0.686J. And then minus. So minus. Um, then I'll put 2 here. So 2 here. And that gives me 0 0.914, so minus 0 0.914k. And all of this is actually in kilonewton. So you know what? We've been able to express our force into a Cartesian vector, right? And this will make the moment now easy because we are going to do the cross product of R, A, B, and then cross what? Oh, sorry, we are going to do the cross product here, this one. Since we are taking the moment about O, we said that we have to walk all the way from O to A, and that is what we got here. And now we have the force also as a vector. So we are going to find the cross product of the position vector that we said earlier from O to A, and we'll cross it with the force as a vector. So 1.6i plus 2k. So 1.6i plus 2k cross the force vector, which is what? 0.366i plus 0.686g, and then minus 0.914k. Let's cross this together. The best way to do this is to draw a three by three matrix with the first row as i, j, and k. The second row is the position vector, which is 1.6 along the i, 0 along the j, and 2 along the k. And then I'll come to the force vector, which is 0 0.366 along the i, 0 0.686 along the j, and then minus 0 0.914 along the k. All right. So how can I uh, solve this? This is what we are going to do. We are going to say plus minus plus okay so what we are going to do is that we will stand at i cross this row and cross this column and write what you have what do you have 0 0 0.686 2 minus 0 0.914 so i have 0 0 0.686 2 and then what minus 0 0.914 and that gives me um, so that will give me what? I. Are you with me? Then I will do minus. Then I will start at J. 
So this time around, I'm going to stand at J and cross the whole of this row and cross this column. Write what you have. What do you have? 1.6, 0 0.366, 2 minus 0 0.914. So 1.6, 0 0.366, 2 minus 0 0.914. And then write J here. Finally, plus. And then I will now stand at the uh, key. Cross this row, cross this column. And that, go, that gives me. Um, so write what you have 1.6, 0 0.3660, 0, and then 0 0.686. So 1.6, 0, 0 0.366, 0 0.68, and then 6. And then I'll put K here. Is that right? All right. So at this juncture, we have to actually express this so um this is what we are trying to say what we have here is actually the the term, determinant of a two by two matrix that's what we want to say so for instance if i have a matrix a which is a b c d right and then we want to find the determinant of this matrix given by that a then that is expressed as what a b c d where the determinant would be what a d minus bc isn't it so basically what we are going to do is to picture this as a two by two matrix the determinant of a two by two matrix and having done that then it means that this is going to be what ad which is zero multiplied by minus 0 0.914 minus what bc which is two into 0 0.686 is that right and this is my i then minus AD, which is 1.6 into minus 0 0.914, then minus BC, which is 2 into 0 0.366. And that will give me my J. Let me bring this one here. Plus, then I'll do AD, which is 1.6 into 0 0.686. Then I'll subtract this from 0, and then what? 0 0.366. And that will give me K. Is that right? Okay. Okay, so let's pick our calculators and then get the values. Let's pick our calculators. But you know what? I'm multiplying by zero. So I don't need to bother. Okay, I don't need to point this on the calculator. That is a pure waste of time. So my friends, don't do that. I'll multiply two by 0 0.686. And that gives me minus. So there's already minus here. So minus. 1.372i, and then when I come to this middle part, what is the j? It's going to be what? 1.6. Okay, so let me do it to a 1.6 multiplied by to 1.6 multiplied by 0 0.914, and then minus 2 into 0 0.366 and then uh, that gives me what okay i think there is a minus sign here isn't it so 1.6 multiplied by minus 0 0.914 minus what 2 into what 0 0.366 okay that's right that gives me minus 2.1944 but there is already a minus sign here. So it become plus, isn't it? 2.1944. And that is G. Finally, you know, we are multiplying by zero. We don't need to bother about that. And then we are going to do 1.6 multiplied by 0 0.686. What is that? That is going to give me 1.0976. So let's say 1.0. Okay, let me write the full value. 1.09. 76k is that right so in fact we are done and everything here is in kilonewton meter isn't it but you know what we said that the question was like calculate the magnitude so we need to calculate the magnitude we've been able to express this as uh, a cartesian vector let's find the magnitude of this vector 
the magnitude is going to be the square root again so the square root and square root was not nice okay this is very good minus 1.372 squared plus 2.1944 squared plus 1.0976 squared and that will give me the magnitude of my moment and what is that so it's going to be um so that's going to be what square root of minus 1.372 squared plus 2.1944 how many of the four two okay squared plus one point so plus 1.0976 and then that is squared isn't it so the moment the the magnitude of the moment is going to be 2.81.81 uh 2.811 or let's say 2.81 kilonewton meter and that gives us what the magnitude okay that gives us the magnitude of the moment about point oh okay and the force was acting at point a all right thank you very much for watching this video i hope the concept is clear